guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. So we're going to take a look at the rest of May to see what messages May through June are showing up here for you. Um, yeah, so please click that like button and subscribe if you enjoy my readings. And let's get into this. So you're starting with heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, a separation, feeling lost, grieving, mourning, but you also have kisses, unconditional love, giving and receiving, affection, falling in love, and a soulmate. Okay. All right, Virgo. Let's get into this. I'm going to do a Celtic. Let's take a look at the past mess, the past energy for you, Virgo. Sun, moon, rising. Let's see. Okay. So in the past, you have a magician. Something very magical happened in the past. There was an energy. Perhaps you met someone in the past that you felt was like <laughs> quite magical to you. Um, someone who I feel was very inspired to get to know you or to connect with you. And this was like a very triumphant kind of a connection. It was somebody, I feel like you met someone in the past and there was this person turned into becoming like your world. Um, like a wake up call. Okay, it could be Gemini, it could be Scorpio, but this is an energy here of just feeling like have met your person. You, 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 you may have felt that way in the past, like you met the person of your dreams, the person who was for you. Okay, so let's take a look at the present. What is going on now? All right. Hmm. So this feels like an energy presently of really working hard and putting effort into a relationship. And I feel like somebody here is, is, is either working a lot or working really hard to make a relationship work. Queen of Cups sits in the position of the challenge and the benefit. Okay. And I feel like someone's doing their best to try to open up and express how they feel or working for someone's love, working for your love. This heartbroken card, there's a soulmate connection here. And there might have been some kind of breakup or feeling sad or hurt. I feel like there's someone here who feels like they can never do enough. Like they, it almost gives me a sense like they, there's a sadness that you won't love them or you won't accept them or like feel like you can, that they can connect with you. Because I kind of feel like there might be a little bit of this closed off feeling. Um, there, let me see this heartbreak. What happened? Ace of Swords. Knight of Cups, oh, trust issue. I feel like there was some kind of a trust issue. Too good to be true is what they're telling me. Someone, one or two people felt like this was such a magical connection that it was just too good to be true. And somebody was constantly second guessing another person's love and attention and affection. Yes, I feel like a heartbreak or a separation happened because of that. And for some reason, I'm not sure, there feels like there was maybe just a lack of trust. This page of swords gives me a sense that someone was keeping an eye on another person. But this is a soulmate connection. And this is like there's love here, but there was a lack of trust. Okay, which caused a heartbreak. Right now, there is this energy of really trying to put in effort, maybe in a roundabout way from another person, but still kind of keeping um, a lid on their feelings and on their emotions. Being a bit, you know, it's funny. 
Somebody's name might be Diane. Now the Three of Wands is here, so driving this, this whole intention for this reading is what can possibly happen? What could be? What could come about between you and this person? There is this looking into the future with the Three of Wands. There is this how can you know how can we come together trying to figure out how we can come together what we can do uh, someone saying to themselves if I put myself out there will I get anything in return or will it just be um, me constantly trying to get this person's love or this attention now that could be coming from you it could be coming from both people I feel like with this soulmate energy in this soul contract, this kissing and loving each other, um, there is an element of someone or two people not feeling appreciated enough by each other in the relationship. All right. Someone here wants to take a bold risk, wants to be bold, and is trying to decide how to make something happen here. And for you, Virgo, it does feel like there's a confidence that needs to be built here. I feel like there's a struggle with confidence and self-assurance, but it's not a tall, it's not a, like a, how can I say this? It's not a defeatist thing. It's a challenge. Um, Virgo, I feel like you do want to see where something can go and I feel like perhaps you've been putting in or currently putting in a lot of effort into a relationship perhaps with a water sign or a fire sign um, but I feel like there's two people who don't fully trust each other even though they both know their soulmates even though they both love or have fallen in love with each other there's a lot of heartbreak because there may be just this a lack of confidence and trust and confidence in each other and this feels like the overall energy it's kind of like that feeling of this is too good to be true waiting for the other shoe to drop you know yeah look there's the devil is this a trick uh, wondering maybe to yourself why why did somebody come in your life was it were you to be it's just for fun just as a joke yeah there's just this i don't know seeking truth does this person really love me or vice versa hmm it's interesting because i feel like two people do truly love each other like it's there but there's this lack of trust because that devil energy, because it's not, I don't feel like it in this particular reading that has anything to do with anything other than the fact that the attraction is so, or at least in the past was so strong. There was this, you know, this devil is like an addiction to each other. It's, it's like obsession with each other, a strong, um, sexual lust towards each other too good to be true person of your dreams. This is the person, this is the one, but it's like, not trusting it yeah hmm interesting let's take a look at the near future see what's coming up for you Virgo in regards to this connection okay the high priestess clarified by the four of wands the position of you position of your person hopes and fears so Virgo, I see two people, you and could be a Pisces or a Cancer. I see you in your person. There's this knowing that you're both going to be together. Okay. That's what I feel like. There's this reunion. If there's a separation, this um, coming together. Uh, th that is a card of a homecoming for some in the sense of um, coming back or coming home um, a reunion coming together with this person and it, it's so it's 
I feel like there's love there and affection for another person, but it just feels like someone just could not believe. And this could go in reverse. Just someone could not believe that they found their person. And no, it's not supposed to be this great. It's not supposed to be this person. Another person looking at the other person is just in astonishment, working so hard for that love, but at the same time rejecting it. And rejecting it, why? Because not trusting. But I see you and another person here. This is the commitment, the 1111. I feel like this relationship, this connection with the, your person is meant to be for sure. So in the position of you, Virgo, you have the lovers here. So you definitely love someone. You love this person. You do. The lovers is, is um, you know, that partnership, the strength of two people, deep love, the strength of two people together. This is a very deep, you have a very deep love for someone, your person. And that's Gemini energy again. So it could be Gemini. So yeah, I feel like um, you want to love this person. You want to believe. Yes. Virgo, you are totally head over heels for somebody here, your person. And their position is the Nine of Pentacles. So this person is very single, very much on their own, living their best life, <clears throat> making their money, living in their luxuries, perhaps traveling temporarily away I feel like some kind of breakup or separation I, I do feel like this is a temporary thing if you and your person are not talking we have Capricorn here too if you and your person are not talking there's no communication um, there's a temporary um, separation this person uh, your person I feel like external to you is working or they are away traveling and focusing on, um, you know, just doing the things that they have to do. And I don't see them being, I feel like with the Eight of Cups that they've, they're walking away from the emotional stuff right now. Okay. Not really trying to pay attention to the relationship. Um, they've got some kind of distraction or something else going on that has to do with money. So Virgo, you know, yeah. Yeah, this person, they could be talking to other people. Um, they could be dating others, for sure, or just spending time with friends, um, doing the things that they're doing. Hmm. It seems like you want this person. You want to reach out to them. You're, you're kind of hoping that they're going to initiate something with you, or that they're going to talk to you, or... Um, make some plans with you that's your hope that you guys will be able to have some kind of conversation and heal heal a relationship have some type of a renewal between the two of you Aquarius energy there yeah you know um, Virgo it does feel to me that um this is a temporary kind of break. It seems like it. there's something here about needing to build this trust and believe in the relationship, believe that it can work. I'm not 100% sure if there's anything like funky that happened that caused this separation. Could be a lot of different things, but I do feel like it's a mostly too good to be true. Like, I feel like two people, it's almost as if, if they come together and be together, um, the clouds and the seas will part, <laughs> you know, and the whole world will just spin off into outer space. I mean, it's so powerful, such a powerful match. And so the only way that the connection can be maintained is if there are times of separation, because I feel like two people here will just implode <laughs> if they were to, it, like almost as if it would burn out. 
So I'm not even sure it's the trust thing so much as it is just this intensity of this connection that you feel and they feel towards you. It's very interesting. I don't know. This is one of those, and, and calling it a soulmate relationship, well, that's not as intense as any other kind of relationship. You know, soulmate relationship is just very sweet. But this connection, I don't know, hmm, feels a little bit more intense. And, you know, I kind of do feel like, Virgo, you are a little bit over the top in your emotions towards this person. And that might scare them off a little bit. You might be trying to be a tad bit more, you know, pushing back a little, not to overwhelm someone here with your your intensity or your emotions. Virgos can be very intense, sure. Um, you Maybe you separated from this person to try to just bring yourself back down to the ground and stabilize a little bit. But I do feel like the connection is meant to be. I do feel like two people here. You know, um, I feel like this person feels the exact same way that you felt when you guys met. That it was oh, it was overwhelming. They knew that you were the one for them. It felt magical, powerful, intense. Um, they felt inspired. And, and the devil energy was just almost like an addiction, the physical attraction creating a soul tie together you guys might have you know laid down and created that soul tie together so i do see you and this person coming back to be with one another i do see some type of reunion or meeting up something along those lines i am going to go into the extended to see long term what that's going to look like but for now i'm just going to continue the reading so if you're interested in you know just getting the extended you can just click off the video and go over uh, the disc in the description box under the video will be the extended link and you can watch the rest but for those of you that want to stick around we're going to keep going okay all right virgo this is very interesting let me see what your messages of love are what else does Virgo need to know here? Yeah, time apart. Distance helps bring clarity. So I do kind of feel like you and this person in separation right now um, is just to kind of like, I don't know, get back, re reorient yourself to something, to life, I guess. I feel like there's such an intensity when you're together or when you were together. Um, and then this time apart kind of like gives two people a moment to pause um, so you're not on top of each other 24 7 I do feel like the separation makes both of you miss each other which is kind of like the pull it, it brings the pull back you both are drawn back to each other look wait timing is not quite right so I do feel like you're eager to reach out to this person and um, flourish them with your love and your affection and you know and do it very quickly and, and give as much as you can um, and that might be out of a sense of fear of losing them um, but I don't feel like your person um, I, I don't see co full commitment here it could happen in the you know the near future there might be something uh, you guys stabilize but I do feel like your person is really not going to be around to even receive that so that might feel like a rejection to you you do have fate this is a destined partnership so i do feel like you and your person could turn into um, a marriage or, or at least just a sacred union a committed type of thing um, there may be communication or talk about that very soon so sometime in like maybe the second week of june there might be a conversation there you go. Trust. A little bit of a lack of trust here on both sides. Two people need to... I just saw... Oh, what was that? I just saw a fly or something. Two people need to um, trust each other. But so much more trust in the process and the situation. Boundaries need to be established at this point here. 
And there's an issue with trust and boundaries. Yes. Maybe the person you connect with does not have boundaries or you were lacking boundaries. Boundaries are what creates trust. Because when we have a... Look at There's a fly. I told you. What's he doing? Is he... Like, why... Why isn't this fly flying? Flies are supposed to be flying. Get away. Um, boundaries create trust. Because it lets people know what you will and you won't deal with. And that gives people a sense of safety, right? And vice versa. If this person has boundaries, you you know when they show your boundaries, you feel safe with them. It's kind of like because people without boundaries tend to be wanderers and they just kind of wherever the the river the current takes them is where they go. They don't have convictions. Um boundaries put is helps establish trust in the relationship and um it brings abundance and it brings more of everything that you both want and so there has to that has to be established not just you but your person as well both need to be clear with each other with what you want what you don't want what you'll put you know like what you'll what you'll allow and what you won't allow okay Yeah, addiction affecting this relationship with two people like crazy addicted to each other, for sure. Yeah, Virgo, I mean, I feel like that's really like the strongest message here, that, that, and that's from the beginning with the devil. That started in the, in the very beginning. You two were just drawn to each other. It doesn't mean it was toxic. It can at times, but not in the context of the other cards. I don't feel like that's what it means alone yes but it feels to me like it was a real wake-up call like um you two were i guess i'd like to say chained somewhat you were already together before you were together so that energy coming back um might be an opportunity to talk about stuff here between the two of you okay so here's the thing with the chinese signs because i saw a comment that somebody left one of my um, members, and thank you for your comment. Um, when I call out a Chinese sign, this is yours, your Chinese sign, and your person. If you do not have a person, then it's just for you, okay? So keep that in mind. But um, I think the comment was, uh, like, if it doesn't apply, you have to understand. If the reading does not fit you or you don't understand it at this time, either one, it, it's not resonating, so it's not for you, or two, it hasn't occurred yet. So try to have an open mind. I know, Virgo, it's tough. Okay, so you have the year of the goat, year of the tiger, year of the rooster, year of the ox, year of the dog, year of the dragon, year of the pig, and year of the rat. Wow, Virgo. Interesting, interesting. Yes, yeah, so if you want to get the rest of this reading to see how things will turn out in the long run, go ahead and click the link in the description box for the extended. All right, let's move on. September 10th. All right, we have Taurus, Capricorn. Taurus again. And Gemini. <laughs> Gemini showing up in the readings again. Okay, so the letter K. Someone is 44. Uh, the letter I, the letter D, and the letter V. Um, someone's born in 1981, 1979. We have the letter O. I don't know how that got in there. Okay. Derek, I'm hearing. Letter A, the letter E. 1964. Someone's 37. August 31st, 1971. Um, letter W. Wanda. Will. Wilson. August 30th, September 6th, 1948 or someone is 48 September 8th we have an A, an A again another A 
Ada. Someone's in Illinois. Someone is in Kentucky. Someone is in, oh, oh, they just said um, vow, a vow. Someone's going to make a vow to another person or um, redo their vows, I just heard. Um, did I say 1964 or age 64? Don't remember. Um, someone, there's this, the song When Doves Cry. I just heard this the song When Doves Cry. Uh, someone's sitting by a window or, or looking out the window right this minute. Um, they're giving me the word kid, K-I-D, kid. <clears throat> okay. Uh, someone just woke up from either waking up in the morning or woke up from a nap. All right, February and March, significant months for two people or one person. Okay, we have the letter V, West Virginia. And we have the letter G, Georgia, someone's 52. Someone's in Oregon. Yes, I'm calling all of the states in the U.S. Um, Wisconsin, Delaware. Okay. There's also Alaska. Okay, a couple of charms. Wow. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Um, so they're telling me right off the bat, black onyx gem, an onyx, a gem, or it's a um, a stone, black, or there's a black diamond. Or that 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 those two words black diamond represent something there's also a gift a present or a gift being given or being received so maybe you're gonna give somebody a gift or they're going to give you a gift are you gonna receive one there's a present for sure a gift being given given or received yes all right, Virgo, so I hope that that gave you a little bit of insight. I'm going to move over to the extended. If you wish to purchase that reading, it is 1111. Um, so go ahead and click on that link in the description box. If not, I will see you all back here tomorrow, same time. Um, and for those, if anyone has joined my channel recently, um, I just want to say thank you for becoming a member and um, you can join the channel for $2.99 per month and you get cool badgy, badges, emojis, and shout out. All right, you guys. So I will see you all back here tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like do all the great things um, and i hope that you guys have a fantastic blessed loving and light filled life thank you bye